GCE O Level Mathematics Lecture 12 Profit and Loss and Discounts Part 2 Hello everyone, I'm Dennis. This video is brought to you by Ace with Dennis. Now, learning can be smart, not hard. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notification button to stop missing out free lessons from me. What is profit and loss? The fundamental of any business is to make profits or gains so that it is sustainable and the business owners or investors can earn money. Manufacturing a product or providing a service by a business incurs certain costs. In order to make a profit, the selling price must be greater than the cost price. So this uh, price diagram will show you the idea, right? How profit can happen or how loss can happen. Okay. So over here, let's say this is the cost cost price CP. So the selling price, if it is greater than the cost price, then I can make a profit here. So the profit is selling price minus the cost price. If the selling price is lower than the cost price, which is at this location, so selling price is below the cost price, then the business suffers a loss. So hence, this difference is the loss, L. So the equation for loss will be the cost price minus the selling price. Very often, profit and loss are represented in percentage. Hence, this is the formula of percentage of profit, which is selling price minus cost price over cost price times 100%. And this is the percentage lost, which is cost price minus selling price over cost price times 100%. Or more generic formula, percentage of profit and loss equals selling price minus cost price over cost price times 100%. If the percentage profit and loss is positive, it means it is a profit. On the other hand, if the percentage of profit and loss is negative, it means it is a loss. Sometimes the profit or loss is expressed as a percentage of the selling price. Hence, the equation of profit percentage of profit is selling price minus cost price over selling price times 100%, and the formula of a percentage loss equals cost price minus selling price over selling price times 100%. Or more generic form, percentage of profit and loss equals selling price minus cost price over selling price times 100%. I would say that most of the time, the question will ask us to express the percentage, uh, express as a percentage of the cost price, but sometimes it will ask us to express as a percentage of the selling price. Hence, you will have to read the question carefully. Let's look at example one, which is related to profit or loss as a percentage of cost price or selling price. The teddy bear cost $50. A. If it is sold for $65, calculate the profit as a percentage of the cost price. B. If it is sold for $40, Calculate the loss as a percentage of the selling price. So here's the solution. For A, to calculate the percentage of profit, we just apply the formula, which is the selling price minus cost price over cost price times 100%. So for this case, read the question carefully. It is percentage of cost price, hence we will divide the cost price. And the value is 30%. 30 B. So for this question, we want to calculate as a percentage of the selling price. Hence, the percentage of loss will be cost price minus selling price over selling price times 100%. So we just keep, uh, substitute the value $50 minus $40 over $40 times 100%. And the value is 25%. Example 2, which is related to finding 
cost price with profit. A grocer makes 30% profit on the cost price by selling a packet of rice for $13. Calculate the cost price of the packet of rice. Here's the solution. Now we can draw the price diagram so that we can see the whole picture. So this is the cost price, CP, and this is the selling price, SP. It should be above the cost price as for this case, we have a profit of 30%. So there are two methods we can use to find the cost price of the packet of rice. So the first method is applying the formula. So we know that the percentage of profit equals selling price minus cost price over cost price times 100%. <coughs> so just substitute the value, 30% equals 13 minus cost price over cost price times 100%. Then we solve this equation, which is 0.3 equals 13 minus CP over CP. 0.3 CP equals 13 minus CP. Hence, 1.3 CP equals 13. So the cost price will be $10. Or we can use the second method, which is ratio. So we know that cost price is 100% and the selling price is 130%. So let's write the ratio. 100% is to the cost price. 130% is to $13. So from the equation, 100 over CP equals 130 over 13. CP will be 13 times 100 over 130 and the value is $10. Now, let's see example 3, which is related to finding cost price with loss. So the concept is very similar with example 2, which is finding the cost price with profits. So a bookseller gets 30% loss on the cost price by selling a book for $14. Calculate the cost price of the book. So here's the solution. We can draw the price diagram so that you can see the picture clearer. So the cost price is at the middle. And since this is a loss, so the selling price must be below the cost price. And this is the percentage of loss is 30%. Again, there are two methods we can use to solve this uh, question. Method number one is formula. So this is percentage loss. So percentage loss is cost price minus selling price over cost price times 100%. Then just substitute the value, 30% equals cost price minus 14 over cost price times 100%. Then we solve this equation and we get the cost price is $20. Method number two, we can use ratio method. So for this case, we know that 100% is to the cost price and for the selling price, it is 70% because this is a loss. So 100% minus 30%, we get 70%. Now let's write the ratio here. 100% is to cost price. So 70% is to $14. Now we form the equation. 100 over CP equals 70 over 14. So CP will be 14 times 100 over 70. And the cost price is $20. Example 4 is related to finding selling price per unit of viable stock. So sometimes the stock or the product that we sell is perishable. So if it is rotten or spoiled, we can't sell the product. So how are we going to calculate the selling price, the profit or the cost? So here's the question. A fruit seller buys 200 kilograms of apples at 80 cents per kg. 15% of the apples are rotten. Find the selling price per kg if he wants to earn a 75% profit on the cost price. So here's the solution. Selling price per kg is the total selling price over total apple mass. So total cost is 200 apples times, uh, sorry, 200 kg times 
80 cents per kg. So it's $160. Total selling price is total cost plus profit. For this case, it's $160 plus 75% of 160 And the value is $280. So the total Apple mass that we can sell is 100% minus 50% of 200 kg as 15% of the apples are rotten so it's 85% times 200 which is 170 kilograms of apple that can be sold now we can substitute the values into this equation so the total selling price is 280 over total apple mass is 170 kg so we do the division and it is $1.65 per kg rounded off to the nearest cent. In this section, we we'll talk about discount and profit margin. Very often, discounts are given by the sellers to encourage consumers to buy. Profit margin is very related to discount because we want to know our profit margin first before we can give discount to the customers so that we still make money even though we give discount. So now let's look at this example. A teddy bear has a cost price of $50. So here's the teddy bear. Now let's draw the price diagram. The cost price CP is here and it is $50. The mark price is $80. So what is mark price? This is the mark price, the price that we see on the teddy bear. And here is the mark price in the price diagram. The value is $80. A. What is profit margin? So this is profit margin. So the profit margin equation will be mark price minus the cost price. So for this case, it will be 80 minus 50 and the value is $30. B. Given that there is a 20% discount, what is the discounted price? Okay, so this is 20% discount. So after uh, giving 20% 20, 20 discount, the price drops to discounted price. So how much is this discounted price? So to calculate the discounted price, it is mark price minus discount. So for this case, mark price is 80. So minus the discount is 20% of the $80. And the value is $64. C. What is the profit as a percentage of the cost price? Right. So the, uh, we can apply the percentage of profit for this case. So it is equals selling price minus cost price over cost price times 100%. So this is the profit on the price diagram. And the value is 64 minus 50 over 50 times 100%, which is 28%. So this is the last part of today's lesson, which is chain discount. Sometimes a further discount can be given to customers for some reasons. And here are two common reasons. The first reason is certain privilege. Sometimes the customers may join certain membership or make payment with certain credit cards, which will give them extra discount. Or reason number two is to encourage customers to pay earlier. They Sometimes there is a situation where the customer can get the product first, then they make payment later. So the seller wants to encourage the customer to pay earlier, hence he will give them additional discount. Now let's look at this example. A furniture set is sold for $650 after a discount of 15%. A. Calculate the mark price of the furniture set. B. The buyer makes payment by credit card, which gives him additional 5% discount. Calculate the final price that he has to pay. C. 
If the furniture set is given 20% discount from the mark price, will it be the same with 15% discount first followed by additional 5% discount? So here's the solution for A. This is just a regular discount case. So the discounted price number one equals mark price minus discount. Then we substitute the value. Discounted price number one is $650 equals the mark price minus 15% of the mark price, which is 85% of the mark price. Hence, the mark price will be 650 over 0 0.85, which is $764.71, rounded off to the nearest cent. B. So he will get additional 5% discount, which is related to chain discount. So we have discount the price number two, which is equals to 100% minus 5% of the discounted price number one. So do take note that over here, we take discounted price one. Okay, not the mark price. Then discounted price one is 100% minus 15% of the mark price. And you look at this equation, this will become chain discount. So you have, you can see that there are two percentages here. So this is the first level discount followed by the additional 5% discount. Okay, then we just substitute the values here. 100% minus 5% is 0 0.95. 100% minus 15% is 0 0.85. Then times if the mark price, which we have calculated here, $764.71 and the value for discounted price number 2 is $617.50 For C, this question is actually related to is there any difference if I give 20% discount immediately from the mark price? Will it be the same for the case that we talked about previously, we have 15% discount first, then followed by additional 5% discount. Right? So, of course, if without calculating, you should know that the value will be different. Right? Now, let's verify it. So, for discounted price here, we just give directly 25%, it will be 100% minus 25% of the mark price, which is 0 0.8 times the mark price, $764.71, which we get from here. Okay, and the discounted price is $611.77 to the nearest cents. Okay, so now we compare this value with the discounted price of the chain discount, which is $617.50. And you can see that both are not the same value. So the answer is no, it is not the same value, and you can see that the discounted price for the 20% is lower than the discounted price get from the chain discount. Okay, so what is the reason? The reason is very simple. You look at the percent the overall percentage that you get for discounted price number two here, it is much lower uh, than just give a 20% discount since these two will have different values. Alright, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Do you have any questions or thoughts to share? Feel free to write it down in the comment area. I would love to hear from you. Do you like this video? Please don't forget to like it and share it to your friends. Until then, see you in the next video. Have a great day ahead.